Hey, what's happening, everyone? Three. All right, all right, all right. Hey, what's happening, everyone? This is Wayne Brewer back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics in the tech world hackathons, more specifically, virtual hackathons. This video is based on the Hacker Earth blog, How to Run the Perfect Virtual Hackathon, written by yours truly, Wayne Bro. If you want to check that out, and if you want to gain greater insights on running the perfect virtual hackathon, read it now, link in description. Have you filled up the Hacker Earth 2021 Developer Recruitment Survey yet? Look, when the pandemic started around one and a half year ago, our world changed. People were wearing masks outside. There was social distancing. Some of my favorite things in the world were gone. Concerts, movies, traveling. We couldn't do any of that anymore. And people said that was our new normal and we had to adapt. Well, guess what? The world did adapt. And tech recruiting, like everything else, adapted too. But right now, when we are kind of getting out of the woods and we can kind of see the pandemic is ending, what does a post-pandemic tech recruiting world look like? I have no idea, but you can help me find out. You can help everyone find out. All you got to do is click on the link below. The survey window will pop up, fill it up. It'll probably take you like less than seven minutes. And there you've done the world a favor. There's around a week left, so hurry up, fill it up, and the tech recruiting world will thank you. But back to the video. Somebody once said hackathons are where your crazy ideas can turn into a reality. And I love that. I love that because crazy ideas Creativity, innovation, these are the wheels which keep our tech driven society moving forward. And I also love that because, man, I have a lot of crazy ideas. I have crazy ideas all the time. And I know that some of these ideas have a place somewhere. If they can grow big enough, they could turn into an entire app by itself, an app, a website, whatever they can be. And that's what hackathons offer us. But a particular kind of hackathon that's been getting a lot of popularity recently are virtual hackathons. You'd expect that, right? We live in a post-pandemic world and it's still not the safest thing to have a lot of people gathered in a small space. And that's where virtual hackathons come in. You don't have to get out of your house to participate in a virtual hackathon. And that's what makes it so great. But since it is a virtual event, it can either go really great or it could get pretty messy. And that's where I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna give you three tips so that your hackathon will not be messy. Not this guy. Tip number one. What is it that you truly desire? What is it that you truly desire? Different people have different goals for conducting a hackathon. What's yours? Why are you doing this? What are you looking to gain from this? You need to answer these questions first before you proceed forward. Having your goals clearly defined in a concise manner can help you evaluate at the end of the event if the hackathon was a success. Did it serve you well? Different hiring managers, different tech recruiters have different objectives for conducting the hackathons. Some of them, they just want to solve some very technical problems and they want to find optimal solutions for them. And that's why they conduct a hackathon. Some other recruiters, some other hiring managers, they want to make their developers accustomed to a certain new API that they are implementing into their system. Or they just want to hire the best developer, solve a very particular kind of problem. And that's why they are conducting a hackathon. So you need to figure out what are you looking to gain from this? Write it down, document it on a piece of paper, on your computer, wherever you document stuff, write down your goals. And that's the first step. Make sure everyone on the hackathon organizing team is on the same page and they know what they are getting into when they go ahead and organize the hackathon. What is it that you truly desire? Tip number two, do not micromanage. One of the biggest challenges of virtual events is it often leads into miscommunication. And this miscommunication creates an urge. It creates an urge to micromanage and try to control every little detail. Resist this urge at every cost. Do not micromanage. The only thing that micromanaging really does is it hampers creativity. How would you feel if you're trying to be creative? You're trying to think of an idea and you have your manager over your head trying to control every little detail. It's not going to be the best scene. Similarly, developers, the people participating in your hackathons are the primary driver of your hackathons. And more often than not, they don't like being micromanaged. If you want to combat and if you want to combat miscommunication, you can try and over communicate the essential details, you know, the rules and all of that stuff. Over communicate and make sure everyone knows about it, everyone's on the same page. But after that, 
let them be, let them do their thing and let's see how the hackathon turns out. Tip number three, involve the non-tech teams. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from a non-tech team myself. I'm saying that because it'll be the right thing to do. Somebody once said every company is a tech company. I'm gonna say everybody should be involved in a hackathon. Tech, non-tech, just because just you're from a non-coding team does not mean you have no part to play in the hackathon, you do. I'm here to say that you do. And teams like the marketing, the sales teams, these are the teams which face some of the problems being presented in a hackathon first hand. But more often than not, they're the ones who are not involved in the hackathon. That makes no sense to me. And I feel like they should be involved because they can offer their unique perspectives towards creating a better product. And not involving them could just, could just lead to missing out on some revolutionary ideas. So involve it. Involve the non-coding teams. Remember when Matthew McConaughey all right, all right, all right. in the Interstellar movie quoted Murphy's Law and said that everything that can go wrong will go wrong? I feel like that particularly applies to virtual hackathons. But I really do believe if you follow these three tips and if you read about my five do's and five don'ts about running the perfect virtual hackathon, link in description if you want to check it out, you will ace your next virtual hackathon event. You'll ace it. People are going to be talking about it for all the right reasons. And that's all I have to say about that. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, like the video, comment what you think, subscribe to the Hacker Earth YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. I'm out.